The following is a paid political announcement from the campaign to elect Frederick Doyle. Good morning, this is Frederick J. Doyle coming to you on October 1st, 2011 for the coming city election. I have several concerns regarding these happenings at City Hall and where the responsibility lies. My concern with the inaction of current city council to follow the planning form of government where the manager works for them and not the other way around. Due to the conditions existing at City Hall, I have no confidence in the current city management. There is uneasiness in our City Hall, with on-duty employees being followed by private investigators. We have seen a stream of contradicting information from the manager to cover up matters affecting several departments and their performance and an out violation of the law by removing the appointee in order to satisfy a sitting city councilor, Rita Mercier. Before me, I have a letter from the city manager's office dated April 10, 2007. Mayor William Martin, members of the city council. Person to the authority granted to me under the Special Act, Chapter 486, and the City Charter, Section 30, is with pleasure that I appoint David Hall of 14 Pawtucket Avenue, Low Mass, the Low License Commission, to file a non-expiration of Michael Geary, with whom shall expire August 13, 2009, or such time thereafter until a successor is appointed and qualified. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Rita Mercier called the manager, which is a violation of Chapter 107 of the Planning Form of Government, punishable by a fine and not to serve public office again. She owes this individual an apology and the family who she said she was going to embarrass and drag through the streets. A well-respected Belvedere family she ought to be ashamed of herself. Our financial conditions of the city is not rosy. Our enterprise funds are falling short of their promised performance. And for the last two budget cycles, we have seen the tax increase of $3.27 per thousand and not counting the one coming this year. The average home has seen a $700 increase in taxes in two years. Your taxes no longer cover your trash which started at $72, has gone up to 125 in two years. The inflation rate of the United States is 4%. He went up almost 53% in the trash. Water rates went up $56 per year, and occupancy permits rose from $15 to $50, which is a 200% increase in just two years. The average household has seen an increase of more than $800 in city taxes and city fees, while the average unemployment has climbed and average household income has fallen. During this time, management at City Hall asked for and received a $30,000 pay raise. I am troubled by the recent political backroom deal that covenant employees received a million-dollar payoff, political bribery in my opinion, and left the retirees without any voice on the medical benefits. This is ugly politics at its worst. They threw these poor retirees under the bus. If I was holding a seat in the city council today, I don't want you to listen to this. I would make a motion to vacate the position of the city manager. I don't want this to end up like what happened in Chensford on two separate occasions, but it looks like it might be headed that way. Furthermore, I have a lot of concerns about what's going on in the building department and inspectional service, which I will now address. Here is a complaint with the Commonwealth of Massachusetts filed by Robert Camacho, who at that time was the building commissioner for the city of Lowell, in violation of the law of the Lowell Housing Authority for not taking out permits for work done at the Housing Authority. The apartments are 610, 642 Market Street, 316 Adams Street, 380 Adams Street, Unit 158, 256, 262, 360, 362, and many others. Mr. Camacho took these people to court. It was adjudicated 3-3-2010 and got a reprimand for doing this. They were a violation of the law. Mr. Camacho took them to court in one. After that, two inspectors and Mr. Camacho were called into a room and asked the author to sign the building permits that were granted that were never checked. They told them, we can't sign these permits. We haven't inspected the property. Well, three of those people now don't work for the city of Lowell. They were all let go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm asking the city of Lowell, who on numerous occasions has accused people of wrongdoing, to secure that building's department because I went into the building's department last week and looked at the computer. All these properties that I just mentioned to you and many more have been deleted from the main computer. I repeat, deleted. This has to change. Something's got to be done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fred Doyle asking you to listen to me next week, 10.05, on this radio station, while I will get into deeper detail into the Lowell Housing Authority problems that I've talked today. This is my first broadcast, so I want to just run around the rough sketches, but next week we'll get into a lot of detail, especially with the city manager. This city manager has to go. I can win this thing. Believe me, I can, but I need your help. This is Fred Doyle. Thanks for listening, and have a good day. The preceding has been a paid political announcement from the campaign to elect Frederick Doyle.